Recently, a company that conducts consumer product comparison events invited a large group of consumers to Take the Swim Spa Challenge. Hello and welcome to Take the Swim Spa Challenge. I'm your host, Kim Webb. Take the Swim Spa Challenge is an event that will give consumers the opportunity to test four of the industry's top swim spas back to back in a blind comparison. While participants know that they are in for a unique experience, which will allow them to compare each product within minutes of one another, they don't know which of the swim spas belong to which of the four manufacturers. But we do. Today's contenders include the Dimension One Aquafit 16, the Endless Pool Swim Spa, the Hydro Pool Aqua Trainer, and the Master Spas H2X. Now you know, but the participants don't, and they won't know until the end of the event, because we want them to evaluate each swim spa without any preconceptions. Take the Swim Spa Challenge is all about empowering consumers to make informed buying decisions. During the event, consumers will have an opportunity to test swim spas of similar price points to see if they are all created equal. Today, you're invited to join participants as they learn about and test each swim spa. We ask participants to rate each swim spa in a number of categories, including how effectively they're able to swim against the current, therapeutic experience, warranty, and cost of operation. Participants are encouraged to take time in each swim spa to consider the features and benefits before assigning ratings. So are all swim spas created equal? What feature makes one swim spa stand out from another? Let's see what our participants have to say. I really felt like I was getting a better workout was this one. I felt like I was doing, I was able to push harder, whereas the others, some of the others, I didn't feel like I was able to work up to my maximum. What I really liked about it is on the other ones, when you're doing backstroke, it like kept pushing you to the side or something, or like the jets would like come right at your head and it like pushed your head down and it was hard to breathe. And so this one really didn't do that. And I liked how fast it went because other ones they didn't go as fast so you wouldn't get a really hard workout. The different jets, there was a, a good feature like the stand up jet where you can get your lower back and then the um, sit down jet. Um, if you had like fibromyalgia or chronic fatigue, which I have chronic fatigue, so that would be great to relax your muscles. Yeah, the master spot could be for both since it has like the different levels of the speed. It could be good for a beginner and for the ones who really want to push themselves. The H2X was definitely my favorite. I like to work out and I felt I got a better workout in that particular spa. Had more options, um, the different seating, the jets, there's a lot more jets. I really like the stand-up part of it where I can move my body around, um, get the, the muscle that would be hurting particularly that day. So I like that part the best. The swim spa that I chose was H2X. Um, I felt like the uh, swimming was really strong. It was very challenging to swim against the current. And the two spa seats were really comfortable and it went all down my body from, from my shoulders clear down to my calves. Of the therapy, I, I felt like that there was more jets, so it was a little more relaxing and it kind of targeted all areas. On, I have scoliosis in my back, so. I could tell where it was hitting, you know, my upper back, my lower back, where in some of the other spots it just kind of hit like the mid part of your back. So that was kind of nice. Now that we've heard what our participants think of each of the swim spas, let's take a look at the numbers. On a scale of 1 to 10, the Master Spas H2X had an average score of 9.05 on the ease of operation. In the quality of the freestyle swim, the H2X was again the overwhelming choice, with an average score of 9.45. The H2X had the leading score of 8.80 on the quality of the backstroke swim, and the top score in the quality of aquatic exercise with a 9.25. All of the scores are amazing, but look at the total average score. The H2X won by a landslide with a score of 9.26, leading the closest competition by more than three and a half points. Obviously, all swim spas are not created equal. The Master Spas H2X is taking a pretty commanding lead, coming out on top in all three categories, swimming effectiveness, therapy, and ease of operation. 
Let's check back in with the participants as they review the published retail price, warranty, and cost of operation for each of the swim spas. Participants in today's Take the Swim Spa Challenge have learned about the features and warranty of the four competitors. They even experienced each of the swim spas and probably have a favorite. So who will it be? Dimension One AquaFit 16, the Endless Pool Swim Spa, the Hydro Pool Aqua Trainer, and the Master Spas H2X. And the winner is the Master Spas H2X. After experiencing each of the swim spas, participants rated the Master Spas H2X the swim spa they would most like to own, most likely purchase, and the swim spa that most exceeded their expectation in the swimming category. A pretty incredible feat. In this competition, we saw four of the industry's top competitors in a head-to-head -head battle. In the end, the H2X blew away the competition, leading the way in every category. Um, personally, I felt the Master Spas was the best. It was easily controllable, very user-friendly. Um, I liked the adjustments, the level differences. Um, I just felt the Master Spas was the best for me. The thing that I liked the best out of this one is that you could control it here. Um, which I like because you can just control it, go right into it, and it's actually giving you a level of where, where you're at rather than up or down. Well, I like this one. I like the jets. It's very powerful. I'm almost worn out already. <laughs> but I like the evenness of it too. What do you mean? Well, when I'm in the water, like all the water's hitting me evenly, it doesn't hurt me. It doesn't splash like one shoulder and not the other shoulder. Even if I kind of come off the strip, I still feel like I'm kind of even. In this, I can breathe. Even when I turn over on my back, the water's not gushing over. So I can do the backstroke a lot easier than this one. The jets in here, um, even at the highest, to me were more comfortable um, to stand than the other the other spas as well. So overall, I would this would be my, my pick. The 100% for me and the 100% for somebody else is going to be different. And I just liked it how they had different speeds, like that one did. And some of the other ones, the 100% wasn't that, like, Hard or whatever, so you wouldn't be able to get like go to your full potential. I like the Master Spa H2X uh, because of all the features. Uh, I like to work out for fitness as well as leisure and therapy, so it was just a better overall experience. The spa that gave me the best therapy was the Master Spa's therapy. Um, I also thought that the overall the controls um, were very easy to operate. Um, I was able to sit you know, and adjust those so that I could feel the different temperatures um, as well as the different pressure of the water um, as well from the jets. Today, as always, participants have taken away information and experience that will assist them in making more informed buying decisions. They learned a lot, and we hope you did too. I'm Kim Webb, and we urge you to take the Swim Spa Challenge.